Hello, it's James from Fusion Signage here. Today, I'm excited to show you how our Power BI integration works within Fusion Signage, allowing you to display Power BI reports on your screens. Firstly, the thing that you're first gonna need is pro licenses on your account. And you're also gonna need a user with a appropriate levels of access to your Power BI reports and your Power BI Azure instance. So check this before you get started or go through the process and see whether you get kicked back. So first and foremost, I'm in here in my uh, Power BI account. You can see I've got a couple of demo reports sitting here, corporate spend and regional sales. Now with the Power BI integration, all of these reports will be displayed live on your screen. So what does that mean? It means if you've got a current web browser on your devices, it will be refreshing live at every interval within the playlist. Now, the older that your devices go or the device browser goes, you're probably not going to have as, as quick a refresh and it could be as much as 20 minutes. Or if your device doesn't support HTML, it's actually going to be a screenshot. So we're using both live as well as screenshot. However, it is device dependent. So please check out our support guide and make sure that you've got the latest uh, application version before you get started in this process. And when we jump over to Fusion Signage, I'm going to show you quickly how to set this up. So first you can go into settings and then into integrations. And then under here, you'll see Power BI. So if you click on this more info, you'll go to our support page where you can find all these steps written out. And first you're gonna click on authorize. Now, when you go through this process, it's going to try to log you into your Microsoft account. So if you're not already logged in, please make sure you are. Now this user email up here is the one that you're going to want to ensure is the correct user with all of your reports. You do have the ability down here to consent on behalf of your organization, but by clicking this, you're actually going to get every single report for everybody within your organization. Now you may or may not see this button depending on the level of permission that you have. So check this out and make sure that you're getting this and you're also including the correct reports and user in here. So I'm just going to click for myself, click accept, and then you'll be go back into Fusion Signage. And now that connection has been authorized up here in the top right. And you'll see you've got the options to delete as well as reauthorize. So Power BI has now been connected and we can go into our Power BI and see the two reports and come back and go into our manage section and now go add. So in here, I've created a folder called Power BI reports. Click on the add under the manage section and you're going to see Power BI in your dropdown. So Power BI will now connect to your Power BI account and see all of the reports that you've created. So corporate spend and regional sales examples. Click on this one and then it's going to give you a full list of all of the pages. So in here, I'm going to go with the first one. Now, what this means is that per report and every single page, you will add a separate report and page as a separate line item. So this report with this page is going to be added into a playlist in a second, which can have its own uh, duration as well as scheduled and so on and so forth. So if we wanted to add a second one as well, we could select the second report. It'll find the pages and say, we'll go the IT spend, for example. So now that I've got these two in here, we can add it to either an existing playlist or we can add it to a new playlist. So I'm gonna create a new one, RBI reports, for example. And then you would add media exactly the same way. So click on the add and click on media. Here's the two reports, click on them and you can see they're added in. You can add other images and video content. You can schedule, you can tag, do everything else the same. Here is the duration. So depending on the application version and the Chrome browser that you have, this will determine the refresh interval for any new data, ideally. However, as I mentioned, it could be up to 20 minutes depending on the, on the device. Or if your device doesn't support it, it may be just a screenshot. So we are taking screenshots at a 20 minute interval. So in the event that your uh, device loses internet connectivity, it will revert to the last screenshot just so the device um, has something that is playing. Now the preview at the moment isn't currently working just because of all the authentication required at this level. However, you should know what the report is. So when you send it and save and publish, just make sure you're selecting the right screens. So I'm gonna select the Power BI screen test that's here, press save and publish, and then which will be sent to the screens. Now, one of the questions that you may have is how do we determine or set filters on the screen? Say this screen wants to display a certain subset of content within this page. Well, we can actually do that. So under here, under the Power BI screen, if I click on configure screen, you'll notice right here, we've got Power BI filters. So at the moment, this is just a manual process and we're always open to feedback about how this can be improved. But if I was to add a new basic filter here, I could select the report for this specific screen. So if I was to go to my corporate spend, for example, here, this is a report that exists on Fusion Signage at the moment. This is an all reports. In here, I could say, what table do I want to include? What is the column name? And then I can select an operator in, not in and all, and then determine the value here. So if I wanted to only show screens that are content relevant to Queensland in here, I could set it up based on the table column name, select the operator that it has all of these, which is Queensland. So by setting up these filters and you can set up multiple filters one after the other, you can actually ensure that the report itself maintains a significant amount of information, but then what's deployed to a specific screen is only relevant to that screen or region. 
Then all you do is hit save and then that metadata is stored on the screen level. So if I was to publish the report, it would then appear only with that information on there. Finally, how do we get rid of the Power BI integration? So let's say you don't want to use it anymore. In here under integrations, you can come in and press delete. And then you can also remove the application from your uh, Azure Active Directory, but get your IT teams to help with that. So we're very excited about this. We're always uh, looking for feedback and improvements. This is the first iteration of our Power BI integration. And as mentioned, you do require pro licenses on your account. So if this is something that you want to benefit from, please reach out to ourselves or your resellers to discuss how we can upgrade. Or even if you want to do some testing to make sure it suits you, we're happy to help you out there. Thanks.